What's going on guys? I'm not magic here. I uh, have a nice little tutorial, I guess, for you. Zombies gameplay. Something a little different, I guess, uh, if you've been subscribed to my channel. But um, basically what you're going to do, first things first, take the chalk outline, draw it on the wall, get a quick thousand points. First thing you want to do uh, whenever you play zombies, not just for this part. Uh, but that's what I'm going to be doing a lot of the first round. So you basically take the chalk outlining, gives you free points, use the mystery box. And my goal here is to get both the paralyzer and ray gun in the first round and I think I do it this time in the first round with like maybe five kills so uh, you get it really early on and it just it just helps the overall easiness or effectiveness of the the method I guess you could say uh, so you're gonna just follow what I'm doing right here this will lead you to a room that has a bunch of chalk outlinings of guns you basically hold X to pick the chalk up you go over to a wall that has a little question mark on it Use the chalk to draw the gun on it. Doesn't really matter what gun it is, uh, unless you have a preference. And it gives you an easy thousand points and another mystery box use. So you go from that roof to that roof, um, right through this little hole, and down the stairs. And so by doing it, by going, this is kind of the long way, but it avoids you having to open any doors or use Leroy to uh, bash through any barriers. Now, obviously, once you get the paralyzer, you can just jump onto this roof, and it's a lot quicker. Um, and so, basically, just go straight over to the mystery box now. Um, I'm think I'm just looking for like a question mark. So yeah, I found a question mark. There's a bunch of them right by the mystery box. There's one right up the stairs. Uh, draw it. You get an easy thousand points. Go straight over to the mystery box, and I think I get the paralyzer here. Um, and so basically, what this does is it. Oh no, I get the monkeys. Um, but so now you get these weapons, these high end weapons, in the first round. And so if you want to use this. For the, I mean, because once you get to the higher end rounds, it starts to, you start to find yourself in more sticky situations, and so my best advice would be, once you get both these weapons, if you plan on going to like round 70, 80 or whatever, I would say, get both these weapons in the first round, and then go straight over to the mansion, and try to pack a punch them uh, as quickly as possible, I think I've done it within the first 10 rounds, um, and then try to just get back to the spawn spot, so now I get the ray gun, and I have like five kills still the first round and I have both the best guns in the game. So, uh, I'm, and for the sake of this tutorial, I mean, I just went for the sake of time. So I didn't pack a punch them. Uh, and I only go to like, I don't know what round I end up going to. But I'll probably cut the gameplay off anyways just because for the sake of time. Uh, but you're going to see, you just go to this spot and because of the barrier behind you, they will only jump in this spot. You don't have to move. I think for a little while in this game, I was like texting and just like holding this right there and just shooting. All you have to do. So you just basically, my strategy for this, I guess, is to use the paralyzer, just holds them off, and then once it starts to overheat, I just use the last of it, switch to the ray gun, and take whoever's up there out. And that's more towards the rounds 20 and 30 and stuff like that when there starts to be more of them. Uh, but I ended up getting a ton of points by doing this, and again, I suck at zombies. I am like the worst zombies player, and I was able to do this. It was, it's not difficult, you're not moving. Now, granted, it doesn't make for the most entertaining gameplay, but uh, it's still, I mean, it's a easy way to get to high rounds. Uh, and so now what you're seeing me do, I think it's just fast forward. They're just, they're literally jumping in the same spot. And there, my gun starts to overheat, so I just switch to the ray gun. Easily takes them all out. And you can see where uh, the pack-a-punch versions of both these weapons will come in handy. Because I think uh, towards round 30 or something, I get like forced off. Which isn't a big deal, because it's kind of easy to control them once there's only like four or five of them left. Um, but this is the best way, I mean, besides training them and all that, I mean, this is by far one of the easiest ways to do it. Uh, and so I'm just throwing monkeys around. I don't really know how to play zombies very well. Uh, you'll probably, any, like, good zombies players watching this video will probably notice I'm not very good at the game. Um, but I thought I'd make this video for you guys anyway. So, yeah, this is just sped up. I'm on, like, round 17 now. And, uh, just, they, they do not jump in a different spot. So you don't get overwhelmed by them or anything. You just have them right there. So, uh, pretty simple, pretty easy to do. Um, if you want, what I tend to do is I usually leave like one crawler and deposit just a ton of money into the bank or get Juggernaut or whatever. Uh, I would recommend getting the Speed Cola before you go into this spot because uh, the fast reloading is kind of uh, good. So, um, this is round 29 now. Um, just really, I mean, I think I threw a monkey, but I mean, look at them. They only jump in that one spot. Uh, no matter what round you're on, they will only jump in that one spot. And so, of course, having the Pack-a-Punch version of this weapon would have helped me. But um, that's basically the gist of it. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If this helped you, you know, rating would be greatly appreciated. 
Uh, for those of you who are usually used to the story videos and gameplay commentary, stuff like that, uh, I get this is a little different, just mixing it up, being unpredictable, you know what I mean? Um, but yeah, so if you're new to my channel, uh, subscribe, I don't know, I don't really care, but um, hopefully you guys enjoyed, hopefully it helped you, and yeah, I'll see you guys later. Alright, peace.